and we had to do a double take. Something didn't feel right. This is where Danny Fisher parked his 2005 Ford F-350 diesel. When he walked outside last Friday morning, the truck was gone. Shock, disappointment, really just crushing. Security camera footage shows someone driving away with it in the early morning hours. Fisher isn't sure exactly how it was stolen because he still has all the keys. Winnipeg police found his truck, but he doesn't have it back. Now to get my vehicle back up to where it was, I don't know what they did. I have to pay more money on top of it. You know, I just had it running perfect. So huge inconvenience. It's a problem that sparked a national auto theft summit in Ottawa. It focused primarily on preventing organized crime groups from stealing cars and shipping them abroad for profit. The federal government says it's open to harsher sentences and vowed to target electronic devices used by thieves to hack key fobs and steal cars. To the criminals out there, we're going to disrupt your activities with everything we have. Officials from the Manitoba government's Justice Department took part virtually. Justice Minister Matt Weeb says the province is is pushing the federal government for change. Whether that be uh, working with manufacturers, working with border services, uh, I also hear that they're looking at mandatory minimum sentences. Sergeant Trevor Thompson with the Winnipeg Police Services Stolen Auto Unit says vehicle theft in Manitoba is most typically a crime of opportunity. He says stolen vehicles are often used during other offenses such as robberies and break-ins. Last month alone, there were 504 vehicle theft claims in Manitoba. So far this month, MPIC says there have been 33. 4,475 vehicle theft claims were made across Manitoba last year, down slightly from more than 4,500 in 2022, but still higher than the number of vehicles stolen annually between 2018 and 2021. The vast majority of those are uh, vehicles stolen using the owner's keys or key fob. Winnipeg once held North America's highest rate of motor vehicle theft in the early 2000s, but thefts have declined since then. I would like to see stiffer consequences for this. While it's common for officers to recover stolen vehicles, the most recent WPS numbers show only about 4% of cases in 2022 were considered solved that year. Fisher says so far police don't know who took his truck. He has video evidence and hopes investigators are able to track down the thief. Josh Crabb, CBC News, Winnipeg.